no gunshots, but they get in. Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. We are back here today on Upper Mississippi River Valley. Now, if you remember from yesterday, I talked about uh, how I would look into a set of new drills, a John Deere 8530. Well, as you can see, there's a bit of an empty space there where our old planter was. Uh, I did the testing that I said I was going to do on these John Deere drills, which we have sitting right here. Um, and as you can see, they passed the test. We have two of them. Now, I can hook three together, but three is just a little bit larger than we need at the moment, I think. I think two will work just fine. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab the uh, 1206. And we are going to start drilling some wheat uh, in field 28 and 29. Uh, and actually, I do need to bring up our Google Sheets document. So that way I know exactly, that way I know that I'm doing things right and not just trying to remember. Um, okay. So. We have this cultivated. Alright, so field 28 slash 29 is indeed wheat. Got our doors open just far enough that we can get this guy out here. So now we'll go ahead and we'll close them up because they don't need to sit open. What was it telling me I can grab? It's telling me I can grab something in here. Oh, the stool. Huh. Alright, well, let's close this this door okay so for whatever reason the steps are missing their texture on here I'm not exactly sure why but they are So with these planter you can also put fertilizer in them so I think that's what I'm gonna do is put fertilizer into the planters uh, well actually no cuz now that I think about it the corn planter does not have the ability to fertilize as well and I'd like to keep everything on the same page so to say so to speak I guess you should say Oh man, that stinks. They don't have the attacher joint on that arm. So you can't... Okay, so what we need to do... We need to unhook that. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Unhook that. And then... We need to hook it onto the back. And then we can hook it on the side once we get uh, to our field. So we'll go ahead and we'll fill these things up with seed and we will get started on planting some wheat. So we do not want the fertilizer. There we go. Get them both refilling at once. So this holds just under 2,500 liters. Oh wait, no, that's with three of them. Um, how much seed can we hold? So 1,660 is what we can hold in this. So 1,660 liters of seed. Uh, and these things do have a dirt skin on them as well, so they uh, do get dirty 
which is a major plus. Perfect. So this season, or this year I guess, uh, the only field that these need to plant is 28 slash 29. And then the corn planter is going to be planting everything else. Okay, so we need to unhook that back one. So making right turns, uh, this thing does plant pretty well, but it's making a left turn that uh, is not exactly the greatest on. So I believe that that dropped both of them. Alright, and we are off. So we can plant at a pretty fast pace, which I'm going to just because... Uh, try and get things done. I could have only bought one, I'm only using one at the moment. It is actually quite, <laughs> quite interesting to use these things. Gotta get used to them. Of course, I was trying to focus on getting a screenshot too versus uh, planting there for a moment, so. I think actually what I should do here, let's swap these drills around. We're going to put the back one on the other side, then we can kind of drive alongside the edge here with the tractor. That'll make it just a tad bit easier on us. So we'll just have to make sure that we're always planting where the tractor is on the... Is right next to the plant... Already planted stuff. Jeez, if I can back this thing up even. It's not going to give me an attach, is it? Nope. I didn't think it would, but... I was going to try it anyway. Crank it just a little bit more. There we go. Now we should be able to attach. Perfect. All right. Turn, lower that. Turn it on. Lower that one. Turn it on. Actually, we'll lower them, but we won't turn them on yet because I want to turn around here. Get lined up a little better. There we go. No. Perfect, this will make it much easier to plant now. It's much easier to uh, get right up there now. Make sure that we're getting as much as possible. So now it's going to be the right turns that are not going to be quite as nice, but we'll just try and do the best that we can with uh, how it is here. So a lot of like this turning around and making wide right turns in the field and all that kind of fun stuff. So we are making a 12 meter swath, roughly anyways. Uh, with the two planters it's 12 meters, but 
course we're not always taking a full pass I'd rather overlap than uh, be leaving a bunch of stuff unplanted Use the cruise control. It's in the game for a reason. So this tractor here is probably going to be the main planting rig, um, and it'll be running the auger a lot. Uh, and then we'll be using the 1175 to probably like spray and fertilize and. be using that to run the tipper trailer as well I do think that I might actually swap out that tipper I've seen the J&M gravity wagons out for 15 or uh, 17 excuse me so I think I'm going to go find those and download that I thought I had it downloaded but I guess not but I'm gonna go find that and download that and we can use those to uh, haul our grain they'd work a lot better with the auger too because wouldn't have to back up or anything like that and just pull up beside the auger um, and they're a little more fitting for our operation as well they kind of go kind of go with the operation that we have I know there was also talk of some Brent gravity wagons uh, being released. Uh, there was a Facebook page that said if they got so many likes, they'd release their Brent grain gravity wagons. I almost said grain cart there, but I don't remember what page it was exactly. I'd have to like do some searching for it. But uh, yeah. Our wheat should not take too terribly long to plant with this rig. It would take even less time with the third one, but I don't think I really need to run three of them at the moment. Two works just fine. Plus, running three of them gets to be a pain, hooking and unhooking them, because you can't just drive with three, you know, like this. And I remember the 13 version they had the attacher joint on the arm so when you folded the arm in the attacher joint went with it so you could like suck the planter over a little bit you know it'd be right on that edge there you know right there instead of in the center or all the way out and um, I mean with three of them that didn't really work that well because the back two planters were pretty much rubbing together but it did uh, it did work quite well but uh, just running three of them is not really ideal uh, at the moment and then just like I was saying the hooking and unhooking them part that got that gets really annoying because you have to manage to get all three of them hooked one behind the other and then when you get to the field you gotta unhook them all and you gotta try and you know set them out far enough apart that you can get you know get them hooked up all right and it's just a big pain at least to me it is I just find it more of a nuisance than anything Hmm. 
Yeah, these drills definitely work very well. Uh, I'm glad that I was glad to see that they're in 17. Um, I don't remember who exactly um, pointed these out to me, but uh, you know who you are. Uh, so thank you very much. I very greatly appreciate it. Uh, I completely forgot about the mod team that made these. Didn't even think that they existed anymore. But uh, they do. They've been making mods since FS13. Uh, it's the same group or team or individual. Uh, it's the same mod name that made the Extreme Bailing Pack, uh, the Merlot Turbo Farmer, which actually they have converted and released for 17. Uh, I downloaded that as well. They also made some other mods. Uh, I don't remember exactly what they all were, but the drills, the Merlot, and the uh, Extreme Bailing Pack are the three that stick out in my mind uh, of stuff that they made for 13. And actually, two of those three mods have been converted to 15 and also now 17. The only one that they have not converted uh, to either of those games is the Extreme Bailing Pack which is kind of unfortunate that pack was uh, my number one favorite square bailing pack uh, to use actually now that I think about it I think most of those bailers are actually converted uh, just released in a different pack uh, if we look here you look at these big square bailers I know these two yeah I think this is actually the big you know the extreme bailing pack they just don't have like the trailer that uh, picks them up they don't have that converted over uh, instead there is this which works just as well um, it holds four bales and basically what you do is when you buy the square balers you can choose whether to just be basic design or have a back attacher and that back attacher hooks up to that uh, square bale loader and as you bail, whenever a bale drops from the square baler, it goes into that. And after you have four bales in it, you uh, just stop. You drop that thing down, and then it will um, it will uh, uh, it'll unload that small stack of four bales right there. And then you just keep going. Maybe you don't have to stop to unload them, but it's probably a better idea that you do stop. So that way they don't like go flying or anything like that and just make it pointless to have done any of that. But um, And so yeah, then you have stacks of four bales, you know, however long it takes, takes you to make four bales, I guess. And um, yeah, it's it works really well. Uh, I've used it a few times. In fact, we actually had it on our Parker's Prairie save game there uh, that we were going to use that but um, we just you know obviously that series didn't go far enough but um i do really i did really enjoy that map it is really really huge though um in fact it is kind of in a way too big for me but um it's a it's a very good multiplayer map is what it is uh that map is really good if you have like maybe five six people together uh, and you can really, really knock out some acres and stuff. Uh, that works really well for that. Alright, we got this little corner done here. Which this one's always the first done because of, you know, when you're doing headlands it kind of gets cut off and then I just plant it anyways. On, on, perfect.
We are getting this field done bit by bit. In fact, I'm actually kind of happy with our uh, progress so far. We've gotten quite a bit planted already in a fairly short amount of time. So for the most part, we're going to just kind of keep going around a couple more passes until we connect right there. Oh, and we have one drill that is out of seed. So let's try to get this other one to finish off this pass and clean up that little bit there that we missed. Missed a couple of spots down here, probably because of the hill. There's a little dip in the terrain there. Huh, we only got one of them there. Try and get that. I'd like to not leave that. Huh. Alright, we got two of them. Two out of three. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up these two little spots and then we'll head back into the yard and refill. So we still got a little bit of seed, but it's not enough to continue because I want both planters to be full. Oops, still got one that's... I don't know what that was there. Trying not to take out our mailbox. Kind of wish that thing was in just a little bit farther. It would make life so much easier, but fortunately it is not. We're going to run over a couple chickens here, I guess. And I guess it is a good thing that they don't die when you run them over. Come on, I just closed them. It is kind of neat though how these plant, like a planter, if it has a, uh, like a lid on the seed or fertilizer box, it will, or anything that, you know, fills with seed or fertilizer, and it has a spot that opens, it, you know, you get to the trigger and it does open. Which, I mean, sometimes is kind of neat, but then other times it's kind of a nuisance. But... Alright. Oops, wrong button. So we'll get this one unfolded and lowered. And what the heck, we might as well turn it on right away too. Get this one unfolded, lowered, turned on. Huh. And that one shut off on me for whatever reason. And we're back at it. So what I was saying before the planters interrupted me is we'll keep going around until we cut off that section and then we'll plant that section and then do this one so 
hopefully uh, one more video should cover this uh, all of the planting wheat anyways and then we can get started on our uh, we can start planting corn I'll fast forward a day and then we'll start planting corn just to be safe um, I mean I know that you know, we can start planting it now uh, technically of course the ground temperature it's showing that we can't but the actual planting season we can so it means we have to wait until um, mid spring to plant but uh, you know, we'll be able to plant the corn in a day so we'll plant the corn first and then so in uh, the video after we finish planting the wheat We'll fast forward a day and then start the corn. And then as soon as we finish corn, we'll fast forward a couple of days until we can plant soybeans and then get those planted. Uh, and then I did read something that fertilizer with Seasons Mod, it only lasts one growth stage. So I'll wait to do the fertilizer until probably, let's see here, um, I'll maybe do one at the very, well, I'll do one, the first growth stage maybe or something, I don't know. I have to figure out how I'm going to exactly work the fertilizer because uh, I know we'll spray the first round of fertilizer. We'll broadcast the second round, and then we'll spray the third round. So, which fertilizer? I would not think that would take long at all, especially like spraying with how large our sprayer is, uh, stuff like that. That shouldn't take very long at all to do. We are actually making really good time on this field. We'll have a majority of it done here by the end of this video. And we have a majority of it done already, but we should be pretty close to done by the time uh, we finish the video here. At least I'm hoping anyways. The faster we get done planting, the faster we can start harvesting. I mean, of course, yes, I realize that you know, we have a lot of other planting to do and more work to do between now and uh, harvest, but it means that we're just one step closer to being able to harvest our crop. And I'm really excited because I'm really excited to use these grain bins on here. I mean, I've used the bin. I've used bins before on save games and stuff, but in fact, it's actually only been like once or twice where I've gotten that far. But uh, just really, really looking forward to using the grain augers. They're always fun to use. I suppose I might as well take another picture of planting uh, wheat here. Otherwise, I'll have like three screenshots or four pulling you know and only one of them actually planting all the other ones are like leaving the yard and leaving the field and um, refilling the seed that's about it
So I think the, you know, obviously there is no off-camera work to do here, really. Um, I mean, I could do a little bit if I really wanted to. Dismiss, please. There we go. Uh, of course, I could do a little bit of off-camera work with the wheat if I wanted to, if I wanted to, like, finish everything up off-camera, but we'll just finish it in the next video, because I am, what I will do is I will finish off this patch in, uh, you know, off-camera between now and the next video, but we'll finish off the wheat in the next video, and then we'll get started on our corn, and uh, doing the corn is where a lot of that off-camera work will come in. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And make sure you check out down below in the description. Uh, I got my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social media accounts and also some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.